Now let's go ahead and start replacing some of these PHP calls. So let's start with list images because that'll let us see what's in the database. And the first thing I'm going to do is in my images folder I want to create a new module and I'm going to put it in node modules so I'm going to create a new text file called imagedb.js and then I'm going to edit that in Notepad++. And in my web server, I'm going to require that package. So if you put the module inside of the node modules folder, you can just refer to it this way without giving a path or an extension. You can put it anywhere, but then you have to put the path in here as well. So now we have an image DB module, and inside that we're going to start by requiring MySQL. And then we're going to create a connection pool. And we pass it a settings object. So how many we want to support at a time. And then a host, which is localhost and a user images and password images database images. So these are just the same settings as I used when I did the PHP version. And then we're also going to include debug false here. So now we have a connection pool. Let's go ahead and add some methods that we can call. So let's create a list images method. And this is going to be a function that takes a callback. And the way this is going to work is it's going to look in the database for the list of images. And if, everything's, if everything is successful, it's going to call this callback function and pass back the list of images. And then if we fail, we'll just pass back an error object of some kind. So the first thing we want to do is get a connection from the pool. And this is going to take a callback as well. It's going to take an error and it's going to take a connection. So basically, it tries to get a connection from the pool. If it fails, then this error will be bound. Otherwise, the connection will be in connection. So if error, then else, we got a connection. So if there's an error, we'll call the callback function, and we'll pass it in an error object. and then we'll return. Else, we did get a connection. So now we need to do a few things when we get a connection. The first thing we want to do is we want to add an error handler. And we need to do it in such a way that we can remove that error handler later on when we're done with the connection. So I'm going to create a function And the error listener is going to take an error. And what it's going to do is call the callback function and pass in an error object.
And before that, it's got to release the connection and remove the air listener. So and then this release connection function first it's going to remove the air listener and then it's going to release the connection So here, we're going to add the air listener. And then we're also going to add query select star from metadata order by created descendant. So that's the same SQL we used in the PHP. And then this is going to have a callback as well. Air rows fields. And then we want to check if we have an error, else, like so. So if we have an error, we're going to call error listener error. So we're basically just going to do the same thing as if we got an error on connect. Otherwise, we're going to call the callback and we're going to pass back the rows. And we also want to release the connection. So if we call error listener, it will release the connection. Otherwise, we're going to manually call release connection. So that looks good so far. Let's go to the web server and we're requiring our image DB. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add if URL rec dot path name equal 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 slash images slash list images then I'm going to call my image db dot list images and I'm going to pass in a callback. For all the stuff that I need here, I'm going to go back to my images folder, assets, and then I'm going to open this list images PHP file. And I want all of these headers basically. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm just going to paste that all in right here and then edit it.
And then I'll replace them with single quotes. So there are the header and the response fields. And now we want to write the response itself, which is basically this data converted into JSON notation. So json.stringify data. So let's see how that works. All right, so I have an error on image DB line 39. And must be missing some syntax. Uh, I have an extra closing paren, so let's get rid of that. And then I can't find MySQL, so I need to install it. Okay, and now it's running. So let's hit reload. Oh, we're not actually using it yet though. We have to change list images.php that call. So I'm going to go to assets in my image UI where I'm calling list images.php. I'm going to call it just list images. And then let's reload. Oh, okay. So our images are showing up, but we don't see anything when we open them because we haven't implemented fetch image yet. So let's do that next. But if we look at our list images call here, Here's the response we're getting, which is a JSON object with all of our image metadata in it. And here's what the headers look like. So here are the things that we added to right head. So looks good. So let me just fix one other thing. And in my image DB, I'm actually selecting all the fields, but I really only need name and image ID. So name and image ID. Double check that. So in my response, I need the name field and I need image ID. So save that and restart and let's reload to make sure it still works so I still get the right interface and let's look at list images here so this is just reducing the amount of traffic from the web server 